Hi, my name is Brittany with AndroidPit.com, and this is the Lenovo Fab 2 Pro, the first commercially available smartphone with both Google Tango and a time of flight camera. And now here's more about Google Tango. The Lenovo Fab 2 Pro has three cameras built into the back side of the device. Next to the standard 16 megapixel RGB camera, there's also a time of flight camera and a fisheye camera. This allows for it to capture a room in 3D. The integration of these three cameras lets you do a lot of innovative things, plus some cool apps. Even simple yet useful functions can be achieved. For example, I was able to take virtual measurements of the room's length, width, surface area, and volume. If you're interested in interior design, you can use the Wayfair View or the Lowe's app to see exactly which chairs, tables, or couches would look good in your house or fit the allotted space. Here, I was able to see that virtual objects look better in filmed reality than the usual augmented reality solutions, which are based purely on image analysis. Those more into gaming will enjoy playing Hot Wheels Track Builder, which allows you to build virtual race tracks. Now you don't need to clean up the mess afterwards, it only exists in the virtual world. Dinosaurs Among Us is also really interesting. It's an app that was created by the Natural History Museum in New York. With the app, extinct animals will now roam your living room, or these rather entertaining guys with an app called Hollow. The Google Play Store has a meager selection of some 30 to 40 apps, but that could soon change with the launch and increasing number of sales. During the last Google I.O., the Mountain View company showed further interesting concepts like indoor navigation, for example. In the future, Google wants Tango to enable a feature called inside-out tracking. This means that while being used in a VR headset, the phone tracks its own location in relation to the room and transposes the user's movements into the VR world. Just like with the HTC Vive, you would be able to move freely in space, but without the need for lighthouses. It is unclear though when this will become available as there is still an issue with Tango devices overheating. Now I'd like to cover the technology behind the camera. Under the lens of the time of flight camera, you'll find an 850 nanometer infrared laser that emits pulses with up to 100 megahertz. With the use of phase shift of the light reflected from the surroundings, it's also possible to measure the distance for each and every pixel. The signal amplitude is also captured in order to reveal the exactitude of each pixel measurement. With multiple frames, those measurements are applied with the highest precision. The Real3 sensor, which was developed by Infineon and PMD in Germany, is available in three implementations. The Fab2 Pro has an IRS 1645C with 224 by 172 pixels. This may not seem like much, but it's enough to create a 3D picture of a room. The smartphone does not only capture a single image, but assesses an entire video stream and combines the individual 3D images into a 3D model of the environment. With a laser pulse frequency of 100 megahertz, the pulse width amounts to 10 nanoseconds. Multiplied with the speed of light and divided by two, that equals a maximum scan distance of about one and a half meters. In order to increase the reach, the pulse frequency can be varied between each individual frame. This allows the camera to shoot frames with a shorter reach and higher scanning precision in order to capture hand gestures, for example. It also mixes in frames with lower frequency in order to measure a slightly bigger room. Not to mention the entire process functions independent of the ambient light. Finally, the fisheye camera underneath serves the purpose of measuring extremely quick position changes of the smartphone in the room by digital image analysis. What's more, Android Nougat natively supports time-of-flight cameras. That was our overview of the time-of-flight camera as seen in the first ever commercialized Tango smartphone. As for what the Lenovo Fab 2 Pro can achieve, we will see in our full review on AndroidPit.com.